So, listen to this. Almost every kid's dream is to make it as a professional player. I mean seeing the likes of Messi, Ronaldo. Who wouldn't? Well, that was the case with our man. Growing up watching the likes of Cafu, Maradona, George Best, all he ever wanted was to succeed as a footballer. So even though he was already in school, doing reasonably well, our man would throw everything away age 17 at the small chance of succeeding as a player and it actually worked. Sir Alex Ferguson would give our man his senior team debut, even playing him in a Champions League match and other important games. But just 10 years later, he would retire, getting a job as a builder. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm talking about Roche, Lee Roche. So how does a man go from being United's protege to a plumber? This is the sad story of Lee Roche. Born in 1980, Bolton, England, our man fell in love with the beautiful game from a very tender age. However, his parents were not so keen on letting their boy into the field to chase balls all day. So they enrolled him in a school, however. While in school, our man would play at every chance he got. And finally, age 17, he got his chance. His family finally allowed him to join Man United's academy. This was all he needed. So despite joining the academy reasonably late, Lee was determined to give it all he had. So our man gave it his all and was so impressive that after United's incredible treble winning season and just two years in the academy, Sir Alex Ferguson gave him his first team call up. However, there was a small problem. The team was stacked. Sorry, that's, that's a big problem. So if you haven't caught up by now, breaking into the first team was no small task. However, that season, he would have his senior team debut against Newcastle, a top English team at the time. He would also make appearances against Arsenal in the League Cup and Deportivo in the Champions League. Big games for a young lad. Anyways, after that season, he would be loaned out to Wrexham, a second division team at the time, where his talents would be greatly appreciated. He became a key member of the team for the entire season, playing in 41 of their 46 league games. He was so impressive, he would be called up by the England Under-21 team for UEFA European Under-21 Champions League. But back at United, this were looking tough for our man. He would spend two years in the club making only two appearances, and finally would be released by the end of the 2002-2003 season. Burnley were the team to take advantage of this situation with then-manager Stan Turnant, using his connections to the Old Trafford club to sign the promising youngster to a two-year deal. In his first season, Roach wasn't a first-team regular, despite scoring an outstanding 25-yard volley against Crystal Palace on his debut. Towards the end of the 2003-2004 season though, he began to push the previous right back, Dean West, out of the side. Unfortunately for Roach, Turnant's contract wasn't renewed, and Steve Cotterill was appointed as the new manager at Turf Moor. Cotterill did not rate Roach as highly as Turnant had done, and brought in Mike Duff from Cheltenham Town instead. Roach still featured in the team fairly regularly though, but out of position on the right side of midfield where he looked much less comfortable. Roach scored his only other Burnley goal in a famous 2-1 victory at Ellen Road against Leeds United. And after that, he was shipped off to Wrexham again. But by this time, our man's motivation to the game had already started to falter, despite scoring on his second debut for the club. The next season he was released, and after four lonely years at a club called Droylston, he retired, age 27, and now works as a plumber and cavity wall remover. But despite him not leaving his mark in the game of football, I wish him the best and happiness in all his new endeavors. Thanks for watching and have a great day.